Soap opera fans across the country are in pain, especially the soap opera fans who watch the soaps on ABC. Soap opera fan Alora has a lot to say about the bullying of Disney with the cancellation of her beloved soap opera, All My Children. This documentary, Disney, from Prince Charming to the Wicked Witch, turns now to a soap fan. This soap fan is Alora. Alora is the co-host of Let's Talk About Soaps, which is produced by Heavy Productions. And she's also the a singer and writer, writer of the song, Let's Talk About Soaps. And she's here to talk about her uh, take on the cancellation of her favorite soap opera, All My Children. Welcome, Alora. How are you doing, Stella? Hey. So, you're a soap fan. Yes, a big, big soap time. fan. So what's your favorite soap, All My Children? All My Children and One Life to Live. And One Life to Live. Yes. So how long have you been watching soaps? Since I was... What, 10 years old? Wow. A little girl. So, so they were all my life. Yes, they're like family. So to see something like this happens, it really hurts. It really bothers me. So we got to come together, you know, and fight back. We can't let this happen. You know, it's like I'm, I lost a loved one. That's how I feel. But we are working hard. We've been protesting. And we also have petitions. You could go on, what is the Facebook SOS, um, boycott ABC7. Um, we have petitions for to keep our soaps on TV. Have a petition to keep SoapNet. We got to keep SoapNet. Yes. Yeah. So. Now, as a result of uh, the cancellation of the soaps, you've had to fi try to figure out like what happened, like what made this happen. Right. So uh, you've done some investigation of your own. You, yes. ABC owns. Uh, the soaps, the, mm -hmm. your particular beloved soaps, mm -hmm. and Disney owns ABC. ABC. Yes. So now, how do you view uh, Disney n now that they've canceled your I soaps? I mean, how are they going to cancel soaps? We had them for many years, and they've been around so many years. My grandmother used to watch it. My mother watched it. So why now are you going to stop something that's been going on for generation, for generation? I mean, the only thing I could think is political. It's about money. They're not making the money like they used to because a lot of our young people are not watching soaps like we watch it more but see that comes with the writer the writers have to make more things that the young people would draw to like general hospital young people like a lot of drama and action they got that so all my children like it but it's simple it's a simple fix the writers need to work a little bit and we can keep it on it's no reason to cancel it and give us something that we don't want a cook show called chew come on we don't need that you know, and as far as I, I, I'm concerned, they're bullies. Oh, okay. They are bullies. Now, why do you characterize them as bullies? I well, mean, it's simple because bullies, they take what they want, do what they want, and that's what ABC and Disney are doing to the soap fans. They're giving us something we don't want, that we don't need. So that's a form of bullying. And how are we going to teach our children about bullying and we getting bullied by ABC and Disney? I mean, I took my daughter to the protest to teach about to stand for something because you don't stand for something you'll fall for anything so you got to teach your children and this is what we want and we're going to fight for it how do you feel about Disney? I don't like Disney, I'm going to Nickelodeon You're going to go to switch to Nickelodeon now? Why? Yeah? What did Disney do? Why you don't like them? cry Disney. Now the kids are going over to Nickelodeon. Well the, the producer of this documentary, mm -hmm. Disney, from Prince Charming to the Wicked Witch, Tessa McKenzie, uh, she, she focuses on the bullying aspects of Disney, particular, particularly Michael Eisner. Mm -hmm. And uh, the book 
a lot of times that is noted in this documentary is James B. Stewart's Disney War. Mm -hmm. So there are two instances of bullying uh, that he talks about mm -hmm. with the Disney company, particularly wow. with uh, Michael Eisner. And uh, I, what this is is an attempt to understand the culture of Disney and why would they cancel these soaps, these beloved soaps. It's about the money. Now, it's an analysis, but, you know, we have to try because you are not alone. No. There are people all across this country that are in pain right yes, now because their beloved soaps are being canceled. canceled. And not necessarily, I hear they may go on the internet, but not everyone has access to the internet or wants, wants to, to watch, watch it on, on the, the internet. internet. Come on. So, I now go to um, I, I I now go to the, the following part about Hillary Duff. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the the information that I'm going to talk about is from page 434, okay. and uh, Hillary Duff is is an actress. Now um, Susan Duff, the mother of Hillary. Uh, was approached by Dick Cook, who is a uh, representative of Disney, about a movie sequel entitled Lizzie McGuire. I never saw Lizzie McGuire, mm -hmm. but because mm -hmm. Susan missed the deadline, missed the deadline for uh, to say she was going to do the sequel, uh, Disney rescinded the offer mm -hmm. and. The negotiations were halted uh, beca because of it. So, and these, uh, this is a quote uh, that Susan Duff, uh, Hillary Duff's mother said, uh, and this is from the book, Disney thought they'd be able to bully us into accepting whatever offer they wanted to make, mm -hmm. and, and they couldn't. Uh, so Susan told Entertainment Weekly, again, this is from the book, we walked away from a sequel. They walked away from a franchise. Wow. So, uh, you this is one example out of this book about right. the the culture. So this of has been Disney. going on constantly. It, constantly. Brilliant. Well, I don't uh, constantly, but this is an example. Could be, you know, and you have to ask Disney that that wonderful world of Disney. I remember growing up here, right. the Come wonderful on. world of Disney, and then you know everything was. Uh, peaches and cream, apple pie and Fantasy. ice cream. Fantasy. You know, everything was good with that name Disney. And now th this is the company that has canceled your soaps. Yes, and I'm upset about it. I'm, you know, I'm going to fight to the end. I'm not giving up because we stand by this and take up all my children. Next is One Life to Live. And then it's going to be General Hospital. All I was supposed to be going. And what's to watch on TV? Reality shows, cook show. We don't want it. We don't need it. What would... You Oh, I'm going to save that for, for the end. <laughs> what, what do you think they should do? Now, there's another example of bullying that uh, James Stewart cites in Disney uh, War II. And now, there was a, a director of Disney productions by the name of uh, Andrea Van de Kamp. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, this is an, another example of bullying in the Disney company. There was a board meeting at Disney, and a vote was taken on um, whether to split the office of the chairman and the chief executive officer. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and although the, the measure was defeated in committee by a vote of five to two, Michael Eisner was infuriated by this, and the uh, director of the Disney board. She would, now Andrea, Andrea uh, Vandekamp was the director of the Disney board. Mm -hmm. uh, he berated her and uh, he even insinuated that she was having an affair with mm -hmm. Stanley Go. It, it was a mess. A, a lawyer for Roy E. Disney and a member of the board. Mm -hmm. Well, because of Michael Eisen's un, uh, uh, unrelenting uh, tactics and his uh, vindictive spirit, Andrea Vandekamp was fired. I said, accomplished his feat by uh, bullying the board members to vote her out. And I'm going to read the speech by okay. Andrea Vandekamp 
uh, made to the board from this book, Disney War. And this is on page 423. So if anyone ever gets the book. Okay. So this is the speech. I was asked to serve on this board to be an independent director, and now I'm not being renominated because that's exactly what I am. An mm -hmm. independent director, she began, as she later recalled the speech. The performance of this company has not been wonderful. I, along with some employees and shareholders, are concerned. Michael Eisner has cost this company a lot of money, $140 million on Michael Ovitz, and this board did nothing, $280 million on Jeffrey Katzenberg. This board did nothing. We have terrible relations with creative people in Hollywood because of Michael Eisner's arrogance. Many of the best executives have left this company. Mm -hmm. We've just fired all these people, yet Michael Eisner is getting a $5 million bonus. How do those people feel? The process which led to my not being renominated has been outrageous, and we should all be embarrassed. Now, how we've conducted this has been a terrible example, both to ourselves and to the outside world. People look to Disney for leadership, and we have failed them. And she, uh, Vandekamp sit, sits down. So this uh, was a, the, uh, di the director of the board, and Eisner gets rid of her. Mm -mm. And she, now someone that high up, characterizes Disney as uh, a bully. That's what they are. So the title of this documentary is Disney, from Prince Charming to the Wicked Witch, from Prince Charming to a bully, That's possibly. What That's what they are. So there. You are a fan. Mm -hmm. and an upset fan. And an upset yes. So if you could look into that camera and talk to Disney shareholders, Michael Eisner, anybody in Disney, what, what would you say? Say what you have to say. First, I would say soap fans are the most loyal fans. I mean, for many, many years, we've been supporting and stuck by it side of soaps and this is the thanks we get cancel soap net put on the internet no we deserve much more than that and also the soap stars who have worked so hard to give us all that drama all that romance that we love what we need i mean i understand you're what the young people but young people are in school young people are working what about the people who are home my mother my aunt people Home mothers, stay at home mothers. We deserve better than this. Not no cooking show. We know how to cook. If you want to know how to cook, we go to the internet for that, not to watch soaps. So you could do much better than that. And you're going to do better because we ain't going to stop till we get what we want. Okay, ABC and Disney, watch out. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Soap opera fan and co-host of Let's Talk About Soaps, Shanice Carey has a direct message to Disney.